Hi there, this is Kat Miller and I'm with Toronto Homes and Living and right now I'm going to take a look at the property and show Cast this property so you know what it's all about. This is a one-of-a-kind community that is uh, rebuilding as you can see a lot of buildings are happening so all these tear down homes old bungalows are turning into beautiful mansions so i am going to see which one i mean like what we can do in order to transform a little shaggy house and make it a beautiful home in 500 meters the destination is on your left Hi guys, I just arrived at the, one of the properties that is currently for sale and I'm gonna show you what's happening out here. So I have a client with me and we're gonna explore what's happening in that property. So, and please put in the comments, what do you think? Is it a teardown and it, or it's still possible to renovate it? Saying that, shall we begin? Here we go. This is the facade of the property and it's located in the desired area of Greater Toronto area at Young and Shepherd. So let's go and see. So far I see there is a lot of things that has to be done. But why don't we go and see further on what this house has to offer let's go we're walking on to the main floor oh my goodness let's see what this home has to offer well it's an older construction 1960s and this is how they were building before so most likely people left some furniture behind but this show is not about that but it's about thinking shall we tear it down or it does have actually potential to be rebuilt and renovate it and have a new life the way it is so let's see what's going on over here um kitchen old stove and yes it's outdated and it's really really old and the ceilings are low about eight feet and all construction is the way it is done and we'll go further on and we're exploring this is the main 
floor. So we are checking it out. So, and let's take a look. Yeah, of course. Insulation is hanging down. And that's probably like a solarium, I would think. Or maybe somebody started to renovate it. And um, let's see. That's the main floor. That's the backyard. It's a decent sized property. But again, really old house. Really, really old house. Like Halloween theme. So let's go back inside. As you can see, the neighbors have put new homes and but we are returning back inside and we're checking out what's in there so you're with me and i'm doing a live video of the home that is for sale and we shall see what it has to offer whether there is a potential to renovate it or it's a tear down. I'm gonna go to the right. Let's see what's in there. Let's see. Wow, it's a small little tiny bedroom. Little, little tiny bedroom with a closet. Really tiny. I don't even know how many square feet it is, but tiny. Aha, uh -huh. here is a bigger one. So, a bigger bedroom. Wow. I'm surprised that people actually lived in a house like that an old house, old, old house. Let's go into another bedroom or room. So, same part. This is one of another room. And let's go to the left the upper floor and we go and see there is another room here okay that's interesting another tiny room we are in 2024 right now and I guess the building standards were totally different then and then there are now Saying that, I am just sharing homes that were built in 1960s. So, let's go downstairs, it's pretty much the way it is. And we are going downstairs again. There is a basement down there. So, shall we go and take a look at what is happening down there? Let's go. Let's go take a look. Wow. It's kind of spooky. Halloween theme, Halloween theme. Ah, walking into the basement. In old days, they had it as a in-law unit or separate unit to rent, but it's kind of weird. Like, I'm not saying anything, but it's all 
somebody was residing here for a long time and by the way it is it's been vacant for a long time so this home is a halloween home so again what do you think put in comments would you renovate it does it have a potential for renovation or it's a total tear down home so i'm gonna go to the backyard because the lot itself and the property is situated in the heart of north york young and shepherd as i'm mentioning so the property has incredible potential for a rebuild and there's a beautiful homes everywhere next to it so what i'm going to do i'm gonna walk you through to the backyard again so let's see if the gate is open Let's see what's inside. Aha! Uh -huh. There is a rubber thing preventing from opening. Let's see if I can manage it with one hand. But we're gonna go inside. What it's gonna bring. Look at that. Look at that. Some storage, a garage, and an old car. Look at this. This is an old Mercedes, I think. Maybe not. What is that? Aha. Uh -huh. Look at the garage. But the lot has a fantastic potential. Look how big it is very spacious i'm gonna put dimensions in the comments i think it does have potential for a rebuild i think my opinion is it that, that house is a tear down house but again if somebody's handy and thinking about renovating and refurbishing hmm. possibility is there you know what it is look at this i just figured that out look at that this is a trampoline and most likely it's a swimming pool or it used to be a swimming pool by the look of it i think it is but it has been covered with all the soil, dirt, and who knows what's in there. But there used to be a swimming pool, which is amazing. This home had a beautiful life long time ago. And there was a swimming pool back then. How old it is read in comments read in to in description so let's go check it out probably was a fireplace long time ago so and a shed and another property on the land like a little Oh my goodness, look at that. This house in the middle of the heart of North York was abandoned for many, many years. So, if you are contemplating, contemplating to check it out, you go, give me a call, my information is going to be over there and I can walk you through 
this one of a kind home that either a tear down or deserves a new life and a new home owner saying that talk soon all right guys i just walked you through this home which is quite unique interesting and spooky in a way because it's been abandoned by the look of it for quite a few years saying that if you have further questions you can reach out to me and my partner Ryan Tinefar and we can provide you more information about the potential of building a new home or we can set you up with contractors that can help you to put to give this home a new life stay tuned this is Kat Miller with Toronto Homes and Living Love you all. See you again. Please like and contact us for the information on new upcoming properties and how we can help you with next move.